All right, so here is my extremely messy uh, desktop, and here are the scans that I just did over here. Um, so I think I have, I can't remember the last time I showed this in a video, but I'll go ahead and do it again now, um, just so you guys can see. So I've just dragged one of the images, just the JPEGs right from the scanner directly into Pixelmator, and then this is the other half of the image. So I'm going to go to edit and rotate 180 degrees. And it's gonna be pretty sluggish because these are big files. And then I'll do like a rough lineup so it's not at all perfect. And then zoom in here. And then I'm gonna go to view. Nope, gonna go to image and reveal canvas. All right, and now I can see more or less my entire image and I'm gonna rotate the canvas 90 degrees to the right. So yeah, there it is and you can see obviously the seam. So I'm going to try to line it up as best as I can and that looks pretty good. Um, and then I'm gonna take the eraser tool, kind of get it really big. It's a thousand pixels wide but it looks tiny because I scanned this at 1200 DPI. <laughs> All right, and now I'm just erasing the seam. Now, you can see like some tricky spots here where the color looks different. So um, that I'm gonna like just double check and make sure the alignment is right. And it looks like it is. So I think what I have to do is erase a little further down. So sometimes the edge of the paper will, will curl a little bit and that will affect the way the light bounces off of it and how it ends up getting scanned in. So I'm just zooming in here checking the alignment looks pretty good all right now i will merge the two layers and i'll scan i'll um not scan i'll crop out the edges all right and now i'm gonna zoom in and take care of some of these little specks that are things that probably got on during scanning you have to be careful if you're doing this kind of editing not to overdo it especially if you have work that is at all like mine where there's a lot of inherent texture and um, if you look close things are like very imperfect even though there's an overall sense of realism up close there's a lot of texture so um, if you overdo this, you can end up just completely ruining the piece. And the way I'm deciding what I want to edit out is by picking the things that, that I don't like recall being prominent in the actual piece itself. So the way I line them up is I will look for very specific little landmarks like this little white thing right here and maybe the corner of this little crack in the ice cream right there. And I can zoom in really close and lower the opacity for a minute so I can just kind of see where it is and make sure everything is lining up. It is Thursday morning. Um, I just got into the studio. Usually we have childcare in the afternoon and the evenings on Thursday, um, but to, this week it switched. So it's morning, morning and early afternoon childcare um, every day this week. So it's still pretty early. Um, and I'm just getting started. I, uh, yesterday after I finished filming, the window's open, sorry for the noise. Um, yesterday after I finished filming, I, um, I submitted my, um, editorial assignments and I sent in the, uh, paintings to Artstar, the, the skins of the paintings, and got approval for everything. So, um, yeah, I'm in good shape, finished up those projects, and I, I had allowed some space in my schedule today and tomorrow if I needed to do any significant changes, but I don't, so... Uh, that means that I am probably going to start filming, try to start filming my next Skillshare class. Um, that's why I have so much makeup on. Um, yes, yeah, so I feel like I've been, well not just feel like, I definitely have been dragging my feet with starting on the filming. Um, so I need to just do it even though I don't like have everything together like totally perfect today. I'm just going to get going on it and, um. Oh, and hope for the best. So, um, yeah, that I think is going to be most of this morning. 
I will show you guys the um, the scans, like after they were all cleaned up and everything, the scans of those paintings that they did for Art Star. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna get started with my filming setup. I think I'm gonna have like my DSLR on my big tripod right here next to me, and that I will have an external mic. Um, right now, this is just being filmed on my um, my Canon G7X uh, Mark II, uh, which I think I'm gonna use uh, to film like directly on what I'm working on. Um, the last class that I did for Skillshare was a lot of I filmed the whole process of that strawberry illustration which I did put up on YouTube um, and then I also filmed talking head footage which I just kind of like overlaid the two but a ton of the, the first class was just me going over like techniques and theory and all that so I think for this one I just want to stick to like a little bit more of a casual approach and have me working on the illustration in more or less and talking and teaching, we'll see how that goes, um, in more or less real time as I'm working on the piece. And then I'll just, I'm not gonna be able to talk for like five hours solid, obviously, and no one would wanna watch that long of a class. Um, but the parts where I am not saying anything or where I'm not saying anything helpful, which will probably be a lot um, since I tend to babble, um, those parts I will just, um, speed up and do time lapse style so we'll see i haven't ever done a video like this before but um i'm curious to see how it goes so um i'm gonna get started on that setup all right guys it is a little bit after 12 and I am just wrapping up here. I have been recording my Skillshare class. Um, I did stop uh, for a little bit to do some client admin, um, but yeah, I've, I've just been recording the Skillshare class all morning. Uh, it takes so much time. I'm hoping I'll get quicker at this like I did with videos. I mean, I still videos take forever, but I'm mean, a little quicker than I used to be, so I'm hoping that this will move in that direction. But yeah, I think that'll be uh, most of my day. So um, since the, babys the babysitter is only here for a few more minutes, so I have to go relieve her, and then I will have lunch and put Penelope down for a nap, and she'll hopefully sleep for more than two hours, and then I'll get more work done. <laughs> Um, but that will probably just be, I don't know what I'll do, whether I'll work on, I might just work on some, um, some personal sketches at that point or some sketches for portfolio work rather, um, since she will nap in the studio and I will be downstairs working. So all I have to say, I think that's it for, um, today's installment of the vlog. I might wrap it up here. We'll see. I'll probably film a close in the morning. So, um, that is the plan for the rest of today. Ah. Bye.